Hi viewers, thanks for watching this instalment of August Earth Energies or Predictions. I hope you're all feeling well and safe and happy. The first card that comes to us today is the Warriors card. He hasn't been out for quite a while so um, interesting to see his face turn up again. Now if you've been following the Earth Predictions series you'll know that when he does turn up we have exactly as the card would suggest warrior type energies around. Now that can include uh, human warrior type energy, so we see agitated people movements, agitated warlike energies within countries, agitation within people in countries, and we're seeing that increase almost on a daily rate now globally around the world. This card sort of um, indicates a Middle Eastern feel up in those older parts of Europe and up through the Middle East is often what I feel with the buildings in the background, the outfit that he has on in particular. So we feel a little bit of northern activity energy related. And I sometimes think this card also picks up uh, earth-related movement, so an increase in activity or this water in the background that's gushing through here can sometimes mean um, quick, rapid flowing water, so landslides or avalanches or it can also indicate dust storms, so rapid, quick, fast-moving energies somewhere often in the northern hemisphere of the globe. But I think the globe is moving fairly swiftly with pretty active energies all around at the moment. And part of that is to do with the planetary lineup that we have. It's just quite an active lineup of planets that are pushing us all out of our comfort zones, I think you could say. So we'll watch the warrior. He just generally means turbulence, so I think August is going to be a little bit of a turbulent month. The next card that arrived is the Sun card. And the nice thing about the Sun card is the celebration here and it's involved celebration of children. And I can't help but think somehow the new prince born in England just earlier this week in July, that's a feeling of celebration around him anyhow. So I think there will be sort of quite light-hearted feeling of celebrations involving him. We look up here, this is sort of a harvest time, we're coming up into autumn period in the Northern Hemisphere, so again I get feelings of Northern Hemisphere activity. I see the sun and I think of increased solar uptick, so that can mean flares or sunpot, sunspots sorry, or CME activity, or energy coming down towards Earth, increased magnetosphere bombardment or energies auroras that might turn up as well as possibly increased earthquakes maybe strong and maybe volcanic activity uptick and sometimes I get the feeling that this card the Sun also has to do with crops being affected one way or another the next card that arrived is the mother card I sort of had troubles with this one before but I think you know if we stick along that whole female energy rising issues so it's all about feminine energies across the planet still wanting to be heard they're pushing forward they're making their way um, with rights being honored changes in law the young 14 year old or she now 15 Afghanistan girl that's in England my goodness she spoke to the leading government council the other week and she is so strong. So you get that feeling of really strong, powerful females coming forward again. We do have children, so we can sometimes see children affected in one way or another during this um, month of August. The next card that arrived was The Stranger. Uh, I've talked about the Iron Hand before, so I sometimes talk about the Iron Hand of Communism. It's darkness, so we could have tunnels, uh, hidden subjects, hidden subject matter that comes to the fore, uh, dark issues, maybe unpleasant crimes, um, locked in tunnels, shut doors, so things being closed off. <coughs> With that stranger card, I can't quite nail it all, but it's definitely dark, dark things. They've been closed in or shut into something, doors that won't open, 
or information that's been kept secret that's maybe going to now be let out. Well, there's plenty of that going on, isn't there? We can testify to that with all these spying issues going on around the globe. In fact, this has a feeling of spying, doesn't it? He's sort of peering at the door through you. So maybe the spy issues are going to come to the surface again. The next card that arrived was the Voyage card. I've got a couple of messages here about up through that northern Middle Eastern, older part of the globe. So the northern hemisphere, the continent up there. Yeah, Middle Eastern. We've got boats, so we could see boats. And again, you know, what's going on with trains lately? How many train derailments have there been around the globe in the last month and a half? It's actually becoming a worrying trend. I'm not sure what the problems are regards the train derailments, but that's increasing, ever increasing as well. So we could see big vessels again, ships, trains, boats, planes. There's my sun activity again, so more solar upticks that's talking about heat waves possibly, and that's another thing with that previous card, so we could be talking about some more intense heat around the globe, and I know that London has been having some incredibly hot days, as have other parts of Europe. So those are the main messages for the voyage indeed, and the last card that arrived is the moon. So that's the second time in a month, or the second time in a row that that card has turned up. We had him in the July reading. Lots and lots of stuff ended up happening around that moon. The birth of the royal baby happened on the full moon in July, which was a super moon, sort of an auspicious date for that. We've had several earthquakes in New Zealand around the full moon, and they were in the Cook Strait, which involved the sea. And they were in July, which was the period of the Cancer star sign. So we also talk about planet lineups when this card comes up, sea issues, sea bed or sea wall issues, animal die offs. The moon obviously does have a part to play. Possibly I'm still thinking um, New Zealand activity a little bit because we had it last month. It's quite an active card. I'm still working through all the meanings of the moon. It seemed to be quite active in a whole lot of different areas that popped up for it. So maybe in August we've got some more quite strong planet lineups, more activity from the skies, definitely sea related activity. Could be an increase in quakes related in the sea. Anyhow guys, that's about it for the August reading. I've brought along this little Kiwi chap for this one, just because we've had quite a lot of uh, activity in the July period. So I thought I'd pop our Kiwi friend in there. I hope you all have a wonderful August ahead. Enjoy your summer in the Northern Hemisphere. And for us in the Southern Hemisphere, as some of us are enjoying winter skiing or going to slightly warmer places for summer breaks. Anyhow, all take care, be safe, kia kaha, much aroha. Peace.